Haley Ford has a friend. His name is Edward. He's really nice to talk with. He's not the typical person you'd want your nine-year-old daughter hanging out with, but Haley is no typical girl. Edward is homeless. He lost his job at a local supermarket. And I don't really want him to be rained on by all the bad weather we get here. It's a good thing for him. Haley is pretty good with power tools. There you go. Okay, make sure you're lifting it up. She isn't building some sort of clubhouse or backyard tree fort. That's kid stuff. I'm building a mobile sleeping shelter. An eight by four foot shelter that she's giving to Edward, complete with windows and insulation. And aside from using big power saws, Haley does all of the work herself with guidance from mom. This kid knows her stuff. There you go. If there wasn't like any insulation, they would be cold. If there was no tar paper, they would get drafts. Here's how it all started. A few years ago, Haley saw a homeless man on the street and thought it would be nice to buy him a sandwich. From there, she figured, why give one guy a sandwich when you can feed many more with a garden? Peas, cauliflower, broccoli. So she planted a garden that she harvests for the local food bank. 128 pounds last year. From that garden grew the shelter idea, as well as various other efforts providing health and hygiene supplies to the homeless. If she had her way, we'd have mobile sleeping shelters taking up our front lawn. That may not be far off. Is it okay if it goes inside? It? Haley plans to build 11 more of these shelters so that not just her friend Edward, but some of his friends as well will have warm, dry places to sleep. All because one little girl looked at a homeless person and just saw a person. It just doesn't seem right. Because I think everyone should have a place to live. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.